All right, YouTube. Days finally. If you guys don't remember, in the past, I made a video on I was making modded controllers, yada yada. I failed a lot at trying, but these finally came through. Turns out most of the colors were out of stock when I got it, so it was pretty expensive. There's only two of these left in stock, and I'm gonna give away two of those for Christmas. You're not gonna get them on Christmas, but um, I think it'd be a nice Christmas gift for you guys to win it on Christmas. Yeah, and this is actually a jet. Um, the other ones are coming in the mail tomorrow. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be doing a PS4 live stream, like back back on PS4, GTA, Fortnite, all that good shit. Like Gratopia on the phone. Screw that. It's all about GTA now. I'm back on GTA. Tan man, I'm coming for your ass. Your YouTube career is over. So yeah, I think I'm excited for that. But yeah, let's unbox this baby. So this is a controller right here. Uh, they kind of packaged it in tight. This is what the controller looks like. It's got a nice little feel to it. The things are broken in. Oh, the triggers have a little uh, feel like Xbox. They did to give it the Xbox design and stuff. It doesn't have a little, for you PS4 gamers out there. You probably know that there's a uh, that there's a little headphone jack. I'll be right back to get my other one. All right, you guys. So here's the original controller. It has a little headphone jack. As you can see, this one does not. But that's okay because uh, I have wireless headphones. So yeah. Um, this right there, it's supposed to normally have a little headphone jack. Uh, let me get in the light. Yeah. This is the original HP Gamer controller. Um, this is the brand new one. So, yeah, let's put this badass boy together. So, what I can see right off the bat is that this is actually a joystick. You can move it around like a joystick. Here. You can see that you can move it around like a joystick. At the same time, you could take it apart like that. So, and it comes with just a normal D-pad for all you boring gamers out there. For all you boring people of the gamer squad, I have nothing against you for that. I love the D-pad myself, but I think I'm going to try the directional pad for now. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's clamp that on. This one is a little bit harder to get on for some reason. Yeah. So, right there, that's what it looks like, original D-pad. So, what I did notice on the back is that since the triggers have a little, they have a little Xbox feel on it, um, there's these little buttons in the back. So, it's a switch, so let's flip both of these. Okay, and I think these are trigger stoppers. I think I remember putting those on. Yeah, so these are trigger stoppers. I remember putting these on in the video, I think. But yeah, these stop the triggers. So, for all you GTA, Call of Duty players, Fortnite players out there, uh, this controller is for you guys. Personally, I'm a GTA player myself, so this controller is actually perfect for me. I'm going to look forward to using it in videos and all that. So, yeah, I think that will be really great. Um, so, let's flip those back. They have really one tough one. Okay, so I took, took both D-pads out. And basically, there's just a little original D-pad on here. But it's way different than the original, as you can see. Um, this controller is actually heavier than the other one. So for all you hardcore gamers out there, your hands might get a little bit tired. Um, but just remember, that's my fault. Um, so let's put the directional pad back in. Okay, so for the first actual part, I want to put in the joysticks. So these look pretty magnetic. These look pretty nice. And since they're magnetic, you can just kind of clamp them on there. Like that. Ooh, that actually looks kind of nice. So that was kind of actually kind of satisfying to put on. Just clamp on the other one. Okay, the next part, you got these little rubber things. Um, I think these are go on the joysticks. So let me put one on. Sorry, I cut the video. Okay, so I finally got this on. This is actually a little bit hard to get on, but definitely is a big advantage. Uh, it's a little rubbery, so let me put this on the controller and let me test it out. Ooh, okay, so it does give you a little extra length on the button. It's also a little bit soft. Uh, that's kind of nice, but it's also grip. So if you get sweaty hands or thumbs, a gamer's thumb, um, when you move it around, you won't lose grip. So let's say you're playing Call of Duty or GTA. You're in a free am lobby like me all the time. You're playing with this, and then your finger slips because you don't have these. Um, this will not happen with these. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it comes in a blue color. Yeah, it comes in a blue color right there, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, that's definitely pretty nice. This controller's turning out so well so far. I can speak, don't worry. Okay, one thing that I actually just noticed is that right here, these actually feel a lot like Xbox. So I feel like, um, 
Yeah, I do remember putting that on there. Uh, the joysticks, they, and the triggers are definitely like Xbox. Don't forget about these, because on Xbox, these are kind of clicky. And then when you come over to the actual original PlayStation, this one is not clicky. This controllers have more, uh, the, this controller has more strain on its triggers. Um, also, the light on this is pretty cool. It comes pink. On the camera, it might not look very pink, but that's kind of cool. So the next part of the controller is the paddies. Now, the paddies is always a fun thing to see. You can see little holes in there, as you can see right there. Yeah. And let's see. Let's pull one of these out. I mean, they really package this well so you don't break everything. Okay. So right here, um, I think this one, this one should go on the top. So I'm going to put all of these on and I'll see you guys there. Alright you guys, I finally got my light to work. But as you guys can see, we have these little, um, these patties. And what these things do is they control the buttons right here. Uh, the little X circle triangle square. It's a good thing that I still remember the layout on my buttons. The only downfall of this is that they are kind of loose, but that's actually kind of understanding. I see why. Because you don't want them to be too tight, and if they were too tight... They wouldn't really work, so let's put this. Let's pop this one back in, and yeah. To be honest, uh, let's flip the controller over. So I'm now holding it with one hand. This feels kind of nice, but it's got that one little part on it. Um, as you can see, this kind of stands up. It's like a little stand. But while holding this, um, I feel like you can be put at a disadvantage. Because uh, when I'm playing GTA, I personally use the setting F uh, standard FPS 2. And I feel like when I'm shooting at someone, I might accidentally press one of these and it might cause me to reload or kill myself or blow myself up. So that's one thing that I'm definitely worried about on this. And the other thing that I noticed is that this controller is actually purple without the light. Yeah, definitely. Hey, you guys like my room? Yep, we got the Christmas tree, got the presents. Hey, I want you guys to comment what you got for Christmas. Alright, yep. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this controller. If you guys would like to uh, win one, I'm doing the giveaway on the live stream on the PlayStation tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give two away. Um, at the end of the video, you're going to see random comment picker, yada, yada, normal stuff. Um, for the winner, I want you guys to go DM me on Instagram uh, right there. Right, right, right there. Anyway, um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys win one of these, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.